Hey everybody, today on this episode we're going to be installing solar power on the camper. So last weekend I ordered this kit off eBay. It was $161. I had a 20% off coupon to use, so I went ahead and bought this kit for my camper. Um, it comes with the charge controller, the panel of course, uh, mounting hardware. Uh, these are cables that go from the panel inside to the charge controller. And then I have wires called tray wires that go from the charge controller to the battery. So. This comes with everything but a battery. I'm actually going to take the battery out of my black trailer <clears throat> and use it in my camper. Hopefully, it's going to be a test. I'm going to see if the 100 amp hour battery is enough to run my refrigerator or if I'm going to have to use two batteries. Okay, so right now I'm preparing the panel. I uh, clean the roof to make sure the surface is clean. I'm applying 3M double sided tape to the panel and I'm going to secure it with this to the roof. Uh, I don't really want to drill any holes on a roof that does not leak. And if you watch a lot of YouTube videos on installing these panels, it is very common to use this type of 3M tape on vans, trucks, campers, boats. Uh, people actually use it. And uh, I actually installed this exact same kit with the same tape on my black uh, Overland trailer. And if you wanted to pull that solar panel off the roof right now, it is really hard and it's been up there for about a year. So what I'm gonna do is uh, finish putting the tape on, peel the backing off, place the panel up there where I want it and uh, press down for about, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds and come back in 15 minutes. If I can pull the panel up, then I won't use the tape. Obviously I'll screw it down, but I have a feeling maybe the tape's gonna work pretty well. So yesterday I started putting the solar panel on the roof and I'm not sure where I left off, but today I have Nicole and Einstein here to help. So I'm gonna show you guys the solar panel on the roof and then what I'm gonna do inside. So the next step is to drill two holes right here. Um, I wanted to drill as few holes as possible, that's why I used the uh, double-sided tape. Um, I need to pop the top up, that way when I drill the holes I don't go through the canvas, that's all sitting right here. And for a reference point, I want to drill the holes in between the refrigerator and the bed because there's a cabinet right there that all the other wires are going into. And uh, I just want to follow those wires down and make it look a lot cleaner. So inside the camper, I want the two wires to come down right about here. They're gonna have to go behind this bar because when the top comes down, this, this bar folds down above the uh, refrigerator. So they're gonna follow these wires kind of that are right here. I'm gonna drill a hole. They're gonna go through there behind the refrigerator and into this cabinet, which is where I'm gonna have to mount the charge controller. Now this is gonna be like in the worst place because I'm not gonna be able to read it without a flashlight but there's really nowhere else to put it without wires going everywhere because there's gonna be four wires going to this. Actually two going to it and then two coming from it going to the battery that's underneath this bench right here. So uh, it's gonna be kind of tricky. There's really no room to work with in there. I might actually have to use the uh, double-sided 3M tape to tape this against the side of the camper once I get the wires hooked up to it. So the hard part is done. Two holes are drilled. Now it's time to uncoil the wire and connect the solar panel and feed the wire through into the uh, camper. So the wires run inside. Um, those holes didn't tear apart the roof too bad. Got the wire going behind this bar. It's all coiled up. Now I need to go on the outside where the hatch is to access the refrigerator stuff and see if there's anything in the way so I can go ahead and drill two holes through there. I would just drill the holes right into the top of the cabinet, but uh, these bars kind of slide around and there's really no way to get a drill in there anyway, so it's going to have to go right through here, which is fine. It's going to have enough slack to uh, just go straight down. You're really not going to notice it probably. So now I have both wires coming through. Uh, I went and checked the little area behind the refrigerator and I can't really get access to this. So there was no way I could uh, drill the hole that leaves this box. I could drill the holes from the top to go in but I, there's no way I could drill holes through the side. So I ended up uh, drilling two holes right through the top and they're gonna be right out of the way of these bars. But of course, uh, when I set it down, obviously you'll, you know, you'll look out for these wires to make sure they don't get tangled, but they're run behind these bars so there's nothing that should put pressure on them or pull them or anything, so they should be fine. Now I have all the wire run through here. They give you tons of wire, I wanna say 20 feet. 
so now I need to cut them for length, and then I need to figure out which one's my positive wire, which one's my ground wire. Run them to the charge controller, mount the charge controller, and then uh, from there, I just have to run the uh, wires from the charge controller to the battery, which is under here. It's kind of dark in here, but that's my battery. I have the wires running to it. There's my converter that came with the camper. And most importantly, here's my solar charge controller. And as you can see by the arrows, I'm getting uh, power from my solar panel to the battery. Last but not least, you want to take some sealant and go around the two wires where they go through the roof. I normally use 5200, but I went to three different stores yesterday and today and could not find 5200, so I'm just using a different kind of silicone. Other than that, time to clean off the uh, solar panel with some uh, Windex and uh, check on the refrigerator in like an hour, see how, see how much it cools down. I just want to go over the system one more time. It's really simple and I don't know how many times I repeated myself or left something out because I was trying to get it all done today before the rain came and uh, so I kind of rushed through it without filming a lot of it. So, Renogy 100 watt solar panel, double sided tape, it's not going anywhere. Uh, drilled two holes and uh, silicone around them to keep them waterproof, keep the water out of the roof. And that's pretty much all there is to do up top. Alright, now that we're inside, hopefully you can hear me because the air conditioning is going. But the wires are coming through the roof, through the top of this little cabinet in here. There they are coming in, and here's my charge controller right here. And then from the charge controller, it goes down underneath this seat right here to my uh, battery. And then that is pretty much it. So this whole kit came with um, all the wiring, the solar panel, the charge controller, even the wires going to the battery for $161. The only thing you will have to buy is, of course, a battery. So other than that, it's pretty easy. I'd say anybody can do this. And uh, hopefully it works for uh, quite a while. I have the same setup on my black trailer and uh, it's about a year old and it hasn't given me any problems. It runs my refrigerator 24 seven as well as a few lights. So thanks for watching. We have pretty much all the hard stuff done so now we can finally start to enjoy the camper. We just have to put water in the water tank and make sure it comes out of the faucet which I'm 100% positive it will because if you pump the faucet you can hear it uh, sucking air down there. And then we just have to check uh, propane for a uh, cook stove. That's pretty important. I was gonna try and check that uh, when it was off the truck in case it blew up, it wouldn't burn my truck down, so I don't know when I'll get around to that. Maybe I'll try it here in a little bit. But uh, thank you for watching.